Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee. If you are new to me, welcome. We are going to be doing a booty, lower body workout for today. Um, so if you've been following along on my channel, a lot of what I post is bar inspired workouts. But today we're going to add a little bit more strength that you would see in a normal strength class, circuit class we do at the gym. Um, so I'm going to be using three props for today. If you don't have them, body weight is always perfect. But if you do, we're going to be using a resistance band, a loop band like this. I'm going to be using my Bala bangles, so if you do not have Bala bangles, they can be any ankle weights, um, or again, body weight is fine. These are one pound each, and then I'm going to be using a heavier dumbbell, okay? So this is a 15 pound dumbbell, but if you have something heavy like a pot or a detergent, anything you want to use, you can use that. Otherwise, again, body weight is perfect, okay? So grab what you need, grab your props, have a mat down if you want one, sneakers if you want them, and remember to subscribe at the end of this video so that you get future notifications for all my workouts, my live workouts. And thank you guys for joining those live workouts. They're so, so fun. I'm so glad we're able to do them um, during this time. So without further ado, let's get going, grab what you need, and we're going to get started. Work. We always have bands or a ball or something like that. Um, but for today, we're going to warm up with this. Okay, so I want you to place it around your ankles. Good. And remember, the resistance on this will make a difference of how hard this is for the amount of reps or the amount of seconds you do. So if it starts to be too much, take it off or switch resistance, go a little later. Okay? So we're going to go 30 seconds. I'm going to time this out here to start. And I want you to start to walk side to side. So hip hinge. Abs in, soften the knees, hands to prayer, side to side. Okay, so we're starting right here. Starting small, and then we're gonna make it bigger. And we're gonna add two to the right and two to the left, okay? So you're gonna start to feel the side booty work in here, right? You're starting to feel the obliques. Abs are always engaged. Remember, I say that every single class. All right, we're going for five, four, three, two. Now two to the right, two to the left. It's two. And it's two. Keep it small. Two. And two. So notice as you pull out on that band how your core wants to engage even more. Let that happen, okay? 15 seconds here. You're already feeling the glutes warmed up. Starting to feel a little bit of that heat right there, right? Breathe. You got five, four, three, two, one. Back to those singles. Side to side. Side to side. You can do a little tap here or you can take it step touch, whatever feels best, just single it out. Single it out, how's that feeling? Oh my God, my booty's already burning. Good, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, shoulders relaxed, breathe, 10. Side to side, press out on that band, core tight. In five, four, three, two, one, stand it up. Good, from here, I'm gonna turn to the side, you can stay where you are. Hinging from the hips, send that left leg back, okay? So your hands here can stay in prayer, they can come down, whatever feels best for your balance. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. And then just lift the toes and tap. Lift and tap. We're going 30 seconds here. Tap, lift and tap. So that standing leg is bent, okay? The knee is bent. Breathe, halfway there, guys. Lengthen, reach it longer. Deep breath. Good. Five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Release. Switch sides. Other foot comes down. You got 30 seconds here. Soften that standing knee. Toes go back. Point the toes, reach the leg long. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. So notice my hips are square. Little hinge here. Right? Find your balance. Oh, there we go. Good, breathe. When I look at my watch, I lose my balance. So find a point that you can focus on to keep your balance, whether it's slightly in front of you on the ground, if your eyes are up a little bit, that's fine. Find a spot. Breathe, inhale, exhale. That's it, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Good, let that booty go, shake it out. Shake it out. All right, 
Come into that squat position right here. Hands to prayer. You're going to walk forward, four counts. Walk back, four counts. So it's one, two, three, four. Take it back. Two, three, four. Forward. Two, three, four. Back. Good. So stay right here. Now what happens is often that same foot leads you out. That's okay because we're going to swap it up. Deep breath. You can do it. Stay centered. Find control. Good. Now this time on the way back here, we're going to start again, but start at the other side. So if your left was going first, make it your right that goes first. Okay? Left. Two, three, four. Back. Two, three, four. Forward. Two, three, four. Back. Good. Give me five more seconds here. You got this. Three, two, one. Rest. Hold. Good, sink low, little pulses. Right here, guys. Find that squat. Pulse it for eight, seven, six, five. You have four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Breathe. Take that band, shift it up over your thighs. So not on the knees, make sure it's not directly on the knees above, okay? Right here. From here now, we're gonna go for one squat. Down, lift. Leg lift out to the side. Squat, lift, leg lift out to the side, okay? So that's the combination right there. Lift and down. You squat, stand, lift and down. Stand, lift. So warm ups that I do for my strength workouts are like bar workouts, right? Just working different muscle groups, but warming the muscles up a, a ton before you add that extra heavy weight is super smart to do, okay? So you're tapping into smaller muscles too, but warming up those big muscles. You got it. One more each direction, last one here. Squat, lift, good. Now just bring it side to side. Side to side, hands to prayer. Pressing into the palms. Leg goes out and out. Out, notice the core here. Good, breathe, four. Three, two, one, release. Good, I'm gonna turn to the side. From here, feet go hip distance, okay? So hip distance, meaning this, yes? My series talking to me, hip distance. From here, you're gonna hinge. Hips go back, soften the knees a little bit. Bring the hands to the shins, bring it up, squeeze, okay? Lengthening the back here. Bring it up and squeeze. It's down and up, squeeze. Two more like this, then we're gonna add the band somewhere different. One more, feel that lengthening hips back. Bring it up, squeeze, take that band, slide it down. Okay, bring it underneath your feet. From here, taking the band, carefully grab it with your hands. You bring it up, squeeze, hinging from the hips. Lower down, resist, pull, squeeze. Lower, slower, slower, good. Yes, inhale and exhale. Feel the lengthening through the back of the legs as you go down. Clench your butt right there. Clench it. Bring it up and squeeze. Shoulders relaxed. Good. You should already feel the legs and glutes working, the hips working here. Four more. Three. Try not to let those knees keep center. Two more. You got it. Last one. Hold it down right here. Hold it down. Halfway lift and down. Halfway lift and down. Good. Lift. My hair's falling out. Lift. And lower, halfway lift, lower, clench your butt cheeks, you got it, lift and lower, two more, lift and lower, last one, and release the band, stand it up. All right, you're moving on from here. Now, I'm going to take my band off. If you want to leave it around your legs, you can, but sometimes it gets all twisted and starts to ride up your legs. So, I'm going to grab my ankle weights, my ball of bangles, if you don't have any that is okay, guys. You can do everything with your own body weight, okay? So, please go on just like this. Wrap them around. If you're working with any injuries and adding weight does not work for you, don't do it just because I am, okay? Listen to your body. Whatever feels best, that's what I want for you guys, okay? All right, we're ready. So we're coming down to our hands and knees to start here, okay? So I love just moving through a cat-cow. If you're in this position, you might as well take a cat-cow, okay? So from here, let the belly fall, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, scoop and round. One more like that, inhale. 
And exhale, pull the belly in around the spine. Coming right back to neutral. Now from here, hands are going to stay underneath your shoulders. You're going to send your left leg out. Okay, nice and long. Reach the toes. Lift the leg up to hip height. No higher to start. From here, we tap down and lift. You tap, lift, tap, lift. So again, warming up the booty here. Now adding some weight. So still working those same muscles we warmed up. Warming them up a little more, adding weight, adding intensity, you got it. Tap, lift, neck is long, inhale, exhale, as you lift, control the breath. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, toe is pointed, three, two, next one, hold it up, flex little pulses, lift, lift, lift. So what do I always say? Hamstrings, right, are so important. You want a nice booty? Gotta work the hamstrings too. Okay? You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Heel to glute. In. Release. In. Release. Good. Feel the core right here. As you pull in and release, you gotta stabilize. Hold the belly button up towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the height of the leg. You have four, three, Two, next one, hold it, bent right there, pulse it. Flex foot, you pulse. Pulse up an inch, down an inch, that's it guys. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Drop down to your forearms, drop it down. Elbows under your shoulders right from here. I want you to draw that knee over to the side and then bring it all the way in. You lift out to the side and in, out, and in. So you're in that fire hydrant. It can be small, doesn't need to go high. Okay? It's all about the hips here, too. Beautiful. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, bring it in. Now, whatever leg is working, the opposite arm comes parallel to the front of your mat, forearm down, take the opposite hand, press it up, send that same leg back out, turn the toes out a little bit here, you tap down and lift, tap and lift, lift. Good, so now working a little bit more that side booty again. Lift up, tap, nice long lines guys. Shoulders away from the ears, it happens to me too. Just pull them back down, you got it. For five, four, keep breathing, three, lift, two. Last one, now hold it up right there, pulse it. Keep it small, keep it controlled and precise. Eight more, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause right there. Small circle around, circle around. Good for four, three, two. Can you reverse that circle? Trying to keep those hips nice and stable, you got it. Breathe, inhale, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Bend the knee in, press reach. Bend in, press reach. In, press reach. So we are lengthening as we press. Good, four more, four, Squeeze, three, lengthen, two, last one, hold it up right there, lift, two inches higher, three inches higher, hold it, and bring it down. Gorgeous job, take a nice child's pose here if you need it, press the hips back, open the knees apart, reach the arms forward. Right from here, curl those toes under, take a down dog, stretch out of the back of the legs, pedal the feet out. Good, just really stretch it out there. Take a breath. And coming right back down onto your knees. I'm gonna flip around, stay where you are. Okay, back up on your hands. Knees and hips are in line. So I'm not going to, I'm gonna move my weight. I'm not going to do another cat cow, but you can take a cat cow whenever you need to. Otherwise, if you're ready, send the opposite leg out. Toes are pointed to start. Automatically, look, you see my belly? Fall, lift, pull it up. Okay, tap the toes down and up. You tap, lift, tap, 
lift. Now the hardest thing about the other side, you know what it is? Me remembering what I did in the first set. You guys got it easy over there. Just follow along, okay? Here we go. And if I forget something and you remember it, do it, okay? You don't want to be unbalanced, imbalanced. Oh my God, words. All right, here we go. You got eight more. Seven, six, five. Point those toes in four, three, two. Next one, hold it up, pulse it. Pulse, pulse, good. Lift, lift, lift. Whew. Flex that foot, pulse it. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it right there. Heel to glute and extend. Heel to glute, extend. Where is your neck? Can you breathe? That's a good way to tell where your neck is too. If you can't breathe very well, you're closing off your airways, probably because you're looking back at your leg, right? So take your eyes down towards the mat, above the fingertips here. You have four. Squeeze, you have three. Exhale, two. Last one, now hold it back right there. Pulse, 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 good. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down to your forearms. Bring that leg out to the side. Take it out and in. Out and in. Good. Out and in. So you're in that fire hydrant. Again, not super high here, depending on your hip flexibility and mobility here. Four more. It's four. It's three. Two. Next one. Hold it up. Pulse it right here. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bring it in. That opposite arm comes parallel to the front. Take the hand up. So you're in this position that you can open up. Send the leg back out. Rotate so the toes are slightly pointed out. Tap it down. Tap, lift. Good, so I really want you to point those toes here. Tap and lift. Feel that core engage. You got it. Good, I'm starting to sweat. I was trying to keep my makeup on for later. Dang, gotta have to redo it. You got it, guys. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up on this next one. Pulse it. Lift. 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 Good. So you're lifting one in. She doesn't need to be big. Eight more here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Small circles forward. Circle it. Good. It can be small. For four. Three. Two, can you reverse it? Take it back. Yes, stay with me. Almost there with this. For four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. Bend the knee in, press reach. Bend in, press reach. In, press reach. Now, one side might feel a little bit better. Better meaning easier. Maybe just form feels a little different, a little bit more smooth. That's okay, right? We all have one side that always feels a little bit different, a little bit stronger, a little bit weaker. Four, three, two, last one. Now hold it up, lift two inches higher. Hold, three, two, one, release. Let it go, take a stretch, whatever feels best. I always go right into child's pose, but you can take whatever you need here, guys. Again, pipe those hips up, take down dog. Good, I'm gonna float one leg up to the ceiling for a moment here. And then just open that leg up, let the hip open up. If you wanna bring it all the way around, you can. Bring it down, switch sides. Good, just feel that stretch, open it up. Beautiful, bring it right back down. If you need to pedal the feet, pedal the feet. And then come right up to standing. Roll it all the way up nice and slow. Now from here you can take those ankle weights off. You can leave them on. We're gonna grab onto our weight. All right, so going into some heavier weight stuff here. We're gonna start goblet squat. So you can wrap it up at your chest. If you're not using weight, that's okay. And then we're gonna move into some other lunge and squat variations, deadlift variations, okay? So first, we have 12 repetitions of a goblet squat. It looks like this. Down and up. Simple, okay? Nothing crazy. Toes can go out a little bit here. You want to drop low, 
Try to get your thighs parallel to the floor, okay? So we're gonna do 12 of these. Are you ready? Three, two, here we go, 12 reps. Here's one, two, three, pull the belly in, four, five, sink low, six, that's halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, you got it, eleven, and twelve. Good, beautiful. Take the weight in your right hand, okay? Right hand, I'll mirror you. For this, opposite foot comes forward, contralateral is how we're working here. Take a staggered stance, weight comes down. We're going to a single or a staggered stance deadlift. I'm gonna go staggered, I'm not gonna lift my back foot off the ground. So the weight's in the opposite hand. You hinge from the hips, you bring it down, you stand right up and squeeze. Let's go for our 12. Hinging from the hips, bring it up and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Here's three, four, five, hip hinge, six, that's it. Six more, six, five, four, three, two more, two, last one, bring it up, switch sides, opposite side, switch the weight in the other hand, opposite foot comes forward, and here we go, 12 right here, take it down, and lift, down, and lift, you can have that arm out to the side for balance if you want it, and lift, beautiful, here's halfway, we're going to go for six more, here's six, five, Four, squeeze that butt. Three, two, last one. Bring it up, wrap that weight up. We're going for curtsy lunges here. Okay, so 12 on each side, that's 24. From here, you step back, foot goes to the back diagonal. You come up through center, keep this nice and square, and switch. Back and up, all right? Let's go for 12 on each side, alternating. Here we go, you got one. Two, use the core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stay with me, nine, ten, shoulders down, eleven, twelve, twelve more here, twelve, eleven, ten, Nine, good, control it. You have eight, seven, get low, six, five, heart rate's coming up, four, three, two, and one. Take that weight down, place it in between your feet. We're going into sumo position, squats with a hop. Okay, so nice and wide. From here, sink low, grab your weight. You lift it up and squeeze the glutes. You place it down, you hop forward and back. Okay, so that's one repetition. So you lift up and squeeze, tap, hop, and hop. Grab your weight, here's one. Hop forward, hop back. Here's two, hop forward and back. Here's three, you can go heavier than 15 if you have it. Here's four, squeeze the glutes. Here's five. That's it, team. Coming up on halfway right here. Forward and back, stay low. Good, here's eight right here. Eight. Nine. Oh my God, I'm sweating so hard. 10, I always have to mop the floors. 11, you got one more. Don't give up, don't stop. One more here, squeeze, hop, forward, back, release. Beautiful job coming down to the ground with that weight right here, okay? So for this guys, let me see. I want you to add the band, okay? I want you to add the band around your legs, above your knees. Grab your weight by all the way down. We're coming into a glute bridge, okay? So for this, here we go. We're gonna lift up. Feet are on the ground, knees are bent. Lift up right here, tap down, lift and tap, okay? So for this one here, 12 repetitions. We start now, 
12, 11, 10, press those feet into the floor, abs in, 8, squeeze the glutes, good, those ribs are not flaring out, pull the belly in, you got it, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it up right there, hold, press out your band, flare the legs open, flare the legs open, breathe, shoulders relax for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold it up right there, tiny pulses, down and up, down and up. Now we do this in bar without this heavier weight, so you can drop that weight if it doesn't feel good, okay? Listen to your body, guys. Your workout, not mine. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold it, squeeze your glutes, and release. Good. Place that weight down to the side. Take the band off and stretch it out. Cross one ankle over. You can take off those ankle weights now too if you still have them on. Cross one ankle over. Good. Open up that hip. Reach through. Holding the hamstring. Maybe send that leg up. Take that hamstring stretch. Pull the leg in towards you. And then release and switch. Cross the ankle over, reach behind, grab it right there, send the leg straight up. Good. And then bring it on down right from here. Rock yourself up to seated. Rock yourself up to seated. Now, from here, no props. We finish in that same position we are in, hands and knees, okay? No props though. I'm going to say no props. If you really want them, you can use them, but... Either way, I'm going to go no props, okay? So, send that leg straight out, just like we started before. Point the toes. Now you have no band, no weights. It'll feel a little bit different, a little bit lighter. Tap down and up. Tap down, lift. Tap, lift. Tap, lift. A little quicker on this time, all right? Tap and lift. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Use the core. 4, 3, 2, one, hold it up right there, little pulses. Pulse up, pulse up, pulse up. Yes, breathe, inhale, exhale for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Tap the toes over to the opposite side, lift up through center. Tap up and over, so you're crossing over the opposite side, lift center. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, Lift. That's it. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it right there. Hold it. Drop down to your forearms. Right from here, pulse it up. Lift. Lift. Reach the leg a little bit higher and longer. Final ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. And release. Beautiful. Take a stretch. Other side. We finish here, guys. Your final little finisher, okay? Same thing. Starting up on your hands. Send the leg back. Are you going to hit anything? No. Okay. Good. Point the toes. Hip height. Tap down and lift. Tap down. Lift. Tap. Lift. Little quicker. Little lighter. Tap. Lift. Abs in. Reach. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, protect your spine. Good. Next one, you're going to hold it up. Pulse it right here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Breathe. You got it, guys. You got it. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Tap across. Lift up through center. Tap across. Lift up through center. Tap across. So we're not doing that full rainbow, just half of it. Use the inner thighs. Lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Three more. Two. One. Hold it right there. Drop to the forearms. Lift it up a little bit higher. Good. Right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Breathe. We finish strong. Come on. You got ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, 
three, two, one, hold it, and release. Awesome, awesome work, guys. That is it for today. So a little combination between some bar work, using bands, ankle weights, and then weights to do some strength work there. Go ahead and come onto your booty. I'm gonna face you. Send the legs out nice and long. Reach the arms up. Stretch forward, dive it forward. Stretch out through the back of the legs. Remember to always foam roll, right? It's so important to foam roll, you'll feel so much better. If that fascia that the foam roll releases, if that's tight, the muscles have a hard time loosening up, okay? Good, from here, cross one ankle over. Let's take that stretch, similar to the figure four we did on the ground. Sit up nice and tall and then stretch forward. Good, bring it right back up. Switch sides. And you can add anything you want to this, guys. You can do other workouts I've posted to make it more full body. If you want more booty leg work, there's more of those up. There's full body live workouts. Tabata, try them all, not all at the same time, of course. Good, bring it up, cross the legs. And just take a little stretch here, reach the arms up. Twist up and over. Look over your shoulder. Good, bring it back through center, switch. Twist. Remember guys, live workouts are happening on my Instagram. So it's Kaylee underscore Gyne. Good, bring it back to center. So those will be up there and then I post them if they save to my YouTube. Awesome work guys today. Any questions, you know the drill. Please comment below, let me know if you liked it, what you wanna see next. Any questions, of course, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for all future videos. And again, Instagram, Kaylee underscore Gyne. I will have live workouts the rest of this week and next week. Um, and I just kind of post a bunch of different things up there. So follow along. I would love to talk to you guys on there. And if you have any questions, reach out. Awesome work. Have a great weekend.